Hello, my name is Jasmine Hopkins. I'm a senior informatics student at Indiana University Southeast, and I'm going to be doing this podcast on what informatics is. Uh, it'll be an explanation of what informatics means, uh, its values, its relevance, and overall why it's important that you understand it. So, like I said, I'm going to be explaining what informatics is. I'm going to be giving a couple of definitions. Uh, informatics has more than one definition, so we'll go over those. I will be explaining its meaning. Uh, when I say meaning, what I really mean is informatics etymological meaning, which is uh, the word breakdown. So we'll go over that. I will also talk about what informatics is relevant to and why it's relevant. And then we'll just talk a little bit about its value and what it pertains to in the real world. So, like I was saying, informatics has a couple of definitions. It can be fined two ways, or that is to say it can be split into two separate categories. Um, the first is informatics as a science. Um, informatics is considered a science. It's actually considered an applied science. So I will talk about that and what the underlying sciences are within informatics. Um, if that seems confusing right now, uh, it won't here in a second. And then the other side of the coin is informatics as an academic field, which is very interesting um, and honestly the reason I chose to be an informatics student. So I will discuss that with you in more detail. So, like I was saying, um, first I will define informatics as a science. Informatics is actually an applied science, and it has several underlying applied sciences. The first being computer science. Computer science is defined as the study of complex systems, information, and computation using mathematics. Um, interestingly, in, uh, informatics and computer science are um, used interchangeably a lot especially in the academic world. Uh, that is usually because um, informatics and computer science have, over, have a lot of overlapping coursework. So um, if you become a computer science major or an informatics major, you will hear people uh, use one or the other interchangeably a lot. Uh, the other two applied sciences that are underlying informatics are information science, which is defined as the study of processing, management, and retrieval of information. This is actually a very important underlying applied science because as informaticians, uh, those who study informatics, we are trained to be uh, project managers. So the management and retrieval information of the information science is highly utilized and very important. And of course, the last applied science that underlies informatics is information technology, which is defined as the study, design, development, implementation, support, or management of computer-based information systems. Which also, if you think about it, makes a lot of sense because informatics wouldn't exist without information, and information is usually stored in computer-based system in today's world. It used to be filing cabinets, uh, now it's databases. So, there are your applied sciences that underlie informatics. Uh, you probably noticed a reoccurring theme within those definitions. Um, if you did not notice the reoccurring theme, I have highlighted it for you in orange. Um, that would be the word information. Uh, the reason this is important is because if you think about it, informatics is sometimes referred to as the applied science of information. Now, why is this? Uh, why is the word information so important? Well, because you, you might have heard the saying that information is knowledge. And that is somewhat true, um, at least in today's world. Information is very valuable. Information uh, can tell you a lot of things. But as an informatician, you have to ask yourself questions about information, like how is uh, particular information important, or how is it relevant, how can it be stored, how should it be managed, um, if the case may be necessary, how do I have to retrieve this information in the most efficient way possible. Um, informatics revolves around information. That's a core component of 
what it means to be an informatician, what informatics means. Informatics means you focus on information and how do you apply that information to something else or, or how um, is that information important. That is a very important core component of this um, field, of this science, of this degree, whatever it may be, it is absolutely important. So that is why I highlighted it for you. So like I said, um, I would also discuss informatics meaning, and when I said meaning, I told you that I meant uh, an etymological meaning. Uh, now what does that mean? That means uh, breaking down the word so that you fully understand what that word means. And I do this for you here in this slide. Um, I break down the word informatics into three parts. The first part being in for, uh, which means the act of informing or knowledge communicated. And uh, that's pretty straightforward. And then the second part, at, A-T, means to or toward, also pretty straightforward. And then the last part, ix, the suffix ics, meaning in the names of science, matters relevant to. Well, what does that mean? Well, informatics is considered a science. So that's why I put that little uh, blurb and parens right in there. So if we put it all together, informatics etymologically truly means the act of informing to or toward matters relevant to. And that's very important uh, for you to understand because, like I said in the last slide, informatics uh, core component is information. So if you think about it, informatics it really says the act of informing to or toward matters relevant to. To say the word informatics or to be an informatician means that you are informing to or toward matters relevant to information, uh, whether it be information uh, about people like patients in a hospital or information relevant to a computer-based system as in a database. Um, that's what informatics means. That's something that's very important to understand. So that's why I put this slide in here. So I titled this slide matters relevant to what because this is the second definition of informatics informatics as an academic field um, informatics as an academic field is defined as the art science and human dimensions of information technology and the study application and social consequences of technology it is also defined in informatics 101 inform introduction to informatics as the application of information technology to the arts, sciences, and professions. Um, it's important to note that these definitions are widely accepted in the United States, as I've highlighted, meaning that they differ from the definitions accepted in countries like Great Britain, as well as other European countries. Um, and it's also important to note that just because these definitions are widely accepted in the United States does not mean that they will uh, absolutely match other definitions such as definitions from the state of Illinois or California. Um, I actually pulled these definitions off of the Wikipedia page in Fermentics as an Academic Field. If you would like to look at that you can just uh, do a Google search informatics as an academic field wiki and you pull up that page where I got this uh, definition and you can see the other definitions too there as well okay so I titled this slide bridging the gap because um, in informatics it's something you hear a lot um, uh, it's almost secondary to hearing um, informatics applied to something else um, that something else is called a cognate a cognate is defined as a secondary area of study that informatics is applied to, so that's where you get that definition. Another word that you hear a lot in association with informatics is interdisciplinary. 
and that's where bridging the gap comes in. Um, interdisciplinary means that you study informatics, which is uh, computer science, information science, information technology, all wrapped up into one, and then you study a secondary area, which um, is your choice. So here I have listed all of the cognates available at Indiana University Southeast as of right now. And I have highlighted biology informatics um, because that is the cognate that I will discuss in more detail after this slide. But I think it's important to note that informatics is interdisciplinary because that is what sets us apart from other majors. That is especially what sets us apart from computer science. Because we do study um, a lot of the things that computer science majors study, but we also have a secondary field that we apply those studies to. And that is a key component uh, that makes informatics valuable, and it's also key to setting us apart. So I put this slide in here so that I uh, could better explain to you um, what a cognate in informatics is and how it is defined and as also a starting point to start putting everything that I've been telling you together because in the end it is supposed to work as a cohesive unit. So um, biology informatics is also known as bioinformatics. You've, you may have heard of this. Um, biology informatics is huge. It's honestly one of the largest cognate areas of informatics. The other would probably be um, health sciences, especially in this area, the Ohio Valley being uh, a, a vast health industry area. So in this area, these cognates are pretty well known. Um, but let's get back to the cognate of biology. The cognate of biology means that the study of informatics is applied to the study of biology. And for short, we call this bioinformatics. Uh, bioinformatics is a big deal among the IU sector. Uh, to my knowledge, every IU campus has a bioinformatics major, if not a postgraduate program. And bioinformatics locally is also pretty well known. Um, IU Southeast has a bioinformatics research group. Uh, it's called BERG. Um, they don't just study bioinformatics, they study all kinds of informatics. But bioinformatics is where it got started. So now you know. So like I said, we're going to put it all together going to put everything that I've been telling you together in one cohesive piece. Um, here I have a diagram for you. Um, it's a just a short little little diagram that's bridging the gap. Um, on one side you see informatics which translates to information and technology which is considered the knowledge side of the gap if you will which I've highlighted for you and on the other side I have the cognate area, which um, I, I put here biology, but it could honestly uh, be whichever cognate that you choose. And underneath that, I put in orange the practice side of the gap, because the, the value of informatics is that it's, it's putting knowledge and practice together. Um, it's not just that you know you're knowledgeable um, in this area and and you have no practice and it's not that you're all practice and and leave the knowledge area to someone else the value of hermetics is that you do both and you have a sensitivity to both sides and it's very important to understand that because that's what sets you apart and so now that you know what informatics is, I want to leave you with a clear understanding, and I, I know that I keep saying this, but um, like, I, like I keep saying, it is important. Um, bridging the gap is what makes informatics valuable. Um, I can't stress that enough. 
Intermeticians, those who study and practice intermetics, have an understanding and sensitivity to both sides. I highlighted those words, so pay attention. They have an understanding and a sensitivity. So that's what informatics is. Informatics is taking two completely opposite things and bringing them together and making connections where there are seemingly no connections at all. Interdisciplinary, application, all those words, they all describe informatics. That's what informatics means. That's what informatics is. And that is why it is so awesome. So I really hope you enjoy this podcast. I hope that you have a better understanding of informatics and that it it piques your interest in some way. Uh, At least that is my hope. So thank you for being a part of this podcast. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, 